Hello friends and welcome back to the channel and part two of our white Freightliner build by AMT. Uh, if you didn't catch the first part of this video build, I'll link it down below so you can go check it out. Uh, this On this episode we're going to finish the kit. Uh, first we've got to do some more detailing, we've got to do some more, uh, a little more building and uh, finalizing some paint schemes and then painting the cab and all that stuff. So going to be an exciting fast build hopefully from this point forward and let's get to it.
Hello friends and welcome back. Here we have our completed AMT White Freightliner, uh, 75th year uh, commemorative edition. Um, so the kit's done, it looks okay. I'm not happy with it. There's a few reasons why I'm not happy with it, but we'll go into that in a minute. But I am glad it's done and it looks pretty good. This is what I would call one of those 10 by 10 models. In other words, if you're 10 feet away, it looks like a 10, which is okay for me. Because uh, like I said, I do this just to have fun. It's a relaxing thing for me. I enjoy it. And um, unfortunately with this kit, this kit got to that point where it stopped being fun. And when that happened, I had to set it aside. And the reason why it stopped being fun is it's not just because it was challenging. I mean, I love a challenging kit. The reason this quit being fun is because it is so poorly engineered and the directions and how everything fits together is so poorly laid out that it just wasn't fun. Every time I would fit a piece in, I would go to fit the next piece and things wouldn't fit right. I'd have to undo everything. So I set this aside for a good week at one point. And then I just, I almost pretty much just came to the point of, you know what? Not even going to do it. Not going to worry about it. However, I, I did come back to it because it's kind of one of those things where I really love these trucks. And uh, when I was trying to figure out the scheme for this, uh, for this rig, uh, I drive I-5 a lot. And I saw a, a truck in real life that had this kind of paint scheme. It was kind of a cool metallic blue and uh, all the chrome was blacked out. It looked really sharp going down the road and I thought, aha, that is how I want to paint mine. So I did complete that part of it and I was able to do it in the paint scheme I wanted and I am happy with that. I'm happy with it came, how it came out. I love the looks of these old cab overs and for me this looks great. Um, however, a lot of missed opportunities on this kit. I really hope at some point AMT can re-engineer this kit and come out with something that will actually fit together properly. Um, I'm not even going to be able to show you where all the bad things were uh, because I'm pretty sure if I try to lean the cab forward it's going to come apart again. So um, yeah, just a lot of missed opportunities there. I don't like talking bad about a kit or a manufacturer or anything, but this is this is just one of those times where I want people to be aware if you want to build this kit just go in eyes wide open it's gonna be a challenge um, so because of my new philosophy of I'm just doing it to have fun and I'm not really caring if it's show quality or how great it looks it looks good enough for me and I'm okay with it and I'm happy with, with uh, the fact that it's done so here we go the uh, AM2 white Freightliner uh, Again, it comes with nice extra stuff. It's got that nice little uh, background uh, stand you can fix up and set it on for a display. I'm not going to use it, um, but uh, it's done and I'm, I'm happy it's done. And now we're going to move on to another kit. I will build another big rig on this channel. Uh, it won't be one of these. Um, I don't know which one it'll be yet. I don't have one yet. I've got a lot of models uh, already stockpiled that I got to catch up on. So there will be more comment. Uh, like, please, uh, this video if you appreciate uh, what we've gone through with it. Also, if you comment, if you've built this kit, if you have experience with this kit, if you have any helpful tips for me and anyone else who might watch this video, leave the comments down below, please. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, it helps my channel out. It doesn't cost you nothing. And uh, I'd really appreciate it. So. With that, we will end this uh, video series on the AMT White Freightliner, and I hope you all enjoyed it. So uh, everybody be safe and go build something.